Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Monica of Million Monica over on the Poshmark app where I'm a full-time seller. And today I have a dress haul for you. It's a haul of dresses that I will be selling over on Poshmark. And these are all dresses that I found out at different thrift stores or buy sell trade stores. So if you are interested in reseller um, type content, I create a lot of that here on YouTube, so make sure if you haven't already to subscribe and also to hit the little bell notification so that you will be informed whenever I'm releasing new content, which I do weekly here on YouTube. Okay, so I have about 22 dresses that I'm going to show you today and they're all um, different dresses that I'm super excited to be selling on Poshmark. I have a variety of vintage, modern, designer, um, different styles of fit different styles of um, just a lot of different things happening with these dresses, as you'll see. So again, if you like this type of content, be sure to follow along with this video. Okay, so I really like selling dresses on Poshmark for a variety of different reasons. I think there's a really good dress market, especially online, because dresses are something that we often need um, as females, kind of for different occasions and events, especially in the summer um, and around any sort of like holiday event, even um, in the winter. And so dresses can be one of those things that, you know, you need it and then you kind of put it off and then suddenly you were like, oh yeah, I need a dress for that event. Now what am I gonna do? I can't find one in my area. And so then you go online and hopefully you can find exactly what you're looking for. But I do find that actually Finding dresses to resell can be tricky. Sometimes, you know, you go to a thrift store and the quality and the brands and whatever you're looking for doesn't quite line up either. So there's kind of a fine balance with dresses, I feel like, but maybe that's just me and my area. So I am super excited about these dresses. And the first one here is you're seeing a lemon print, which I'm very, very much loving, um, always. I think I always love the lemon print. Who doesn't? But it is just this brand, I believe, L. that sold at Kohl's. It is new with tags. It retailed for $60, which doesn't always correlate to resale value, but the print is what really sold me on this dress and the classic cut of this dress. So it's kind of a modern um, take of a 50s <laughs> kind of retro pinup style dress. And it's got this great crisscross crisscross back and a back zipper. It is lined. It has pockets. It has everything that you would ever want in a dress. Um, and it's a size 14. So I should mention that if you're interested in any of these items, these dresses are listed over on Poshmark. So you can definitely go shop for them now unless they've already sold. And well, hopefully you can find what you're looking for somewhere else. So the next dress here is kind of um, on a similar note anyway. It is this brand called Ellison. I picked this dress up purely on the pattern and this, the cut of this dress. I just think, again, it's a very classic, uh, very flattering style dress. So you, right away you're seeing this floral kind of embroidered um, overlay, which is beautiful. It's kind of like a daisy. And then it's the fit flare, um, kind of mini-ish length above the knees. At least on me. Uh, and then it has kind of this scalloped, lacy hem. So super pretty. Back zipper, and it's a size medium. This next dress I was kind of shocked to find. It is a DVF, size 14, new with tags, and this beautiful electric blue. I love this color. I would love to find a dress for myself in this color. And it's, again, that classic, classic cut that is just so flattering on, I feel like, just about everyone. Um, back zipper, just beautiful. And it's a little stretchy, and so it'd be really comfortable. You could wear this um, for any special occasion. You could wear it as um, a career office wear dress, you know, put a little cardigan over it. Um, or even like a blazer would be really nice. So many of these you're seeing are very similar in style. Uh, this is a Matilda Jane. I think I've talked about Matilda Jane um, dresses before in other haul videos, but I really enjoy picking them up when I find them. They're always kind of this, I always seem to find them in floral prints. I think that's probably what they're known for, but I just think they're always so classy and beautiful and they just always feel nice. So this has a nice back zipper detail. 
um, kind of outlining the zipper and it is lined. Um, it does have pockets and it's a size 10. This next piece is an Urban Outfitters dress and it's a size large, um, kind of a striped like pastel plaid with the button down mini length. It has a smocked back so it does stretch a little bit, will give a little bit. It's kind of off the shoulder which is really cute. Uh, and it's already, I have it, I've had it listed for a few days and it's gotten probably eight or so likes so it does seem to be kind of a popular brand slash style that people are looking for um, this is just a classic j crew um, kind of shirt dress i guess stretchy striped nautical could be worn for the fourth of july i don't know i really like this style of dresses i think they're just super comfortable you can casual but you can dress it up as well um, this next one's not quite a dress, but I lauded it together with the dresses because I just really like it. I love the color. I love that it's vintage. So this is a vintage night sleep set. Um, of course, this is a gown piece, um, but it's lacy. You can see here it's a little bit longer, so more of a gown, um, but just has that kind of paisley, floral kind of... Um, design but it's this beautiful emerald green which I really like and then it has the robe and the matching tie belt so it's a complete set which is sometimes hard to come across with these especially if they're older so with these vintage sets and this robe is just gorgeous I love the lace sleeve so pretty I probably wouldn't mind keeping it for myself but I don't need to this next piece is also vintage, and but I just love this. So this is kind of an 80s, early 90s um, dress. However, it is kind of mimicking the 60s retro vibe. So uh, this tag is definitely characteristic of like 80s, 90, early 90s. Um, and that's how I know it's not a 60s piece. And this zipper too would not have been... Um, probably a 60s zipper, but uh, I just really love this bold, bright, hot pink with the white and black contrasting kind of center stripe. That is so beautiful. Um, this could be worn for a variety of events. I think it could be a career wear, it could be special occasion wear, just depending on your personal style, but it is just beautiful and it does have a little back slit. It is tag size 10 and I think that's pretty like on par for site modern sizing actually and sometimes that will happen um a lot of times really older vintage sizing is off but or different than modern sizing but that i feel like is pretty close to what we'd see in modern sizing uh this is a strapless anthropology girls from savoy dress size 12 and it is just this beautiful mustard color or marigold or whatever the in yellow color is these days. It has these front pockets um, and kind of a hanky paisley hem. Uh, it is lined as well and it has a back zipper and the side smocking. So it has a little bit of give in there, which is nice if you're more busty or yeah, more busty on the top. And then because it is strapless, it has kind of this uh, grippy um, trim on the inside so that it will stay up a little bit better, which is nice. Yeah, this one also has had a lot of interest since listing it. Here's another DVF dress. Really shocked to find two. This is a size 12 Diane, Diane von Furstenberg, and it's kind of, um, it says vintage on there. That does not mean it's a vintage dress from her collection. It just means that it's like a dress that she designed inspired by her older designs, from what I understand. Um, she was really made popular by her wrap dresses and I think the prints of them. So this is definitely a wrap dress, which is hard to show you now, um, but it's a wrap dress and it has kind of that 70s retro collar, white, which is why I think it's the vintage parts on the label. And the cuff is very characteristic of a 70s style as well. And it's this gorgeous, um, kind of neon gray and black 
or neon green I should say with the gray and black and it's called like the snow leopard um, pattern so this retailed um, for quite a bit and some of the comps were all over the place on Poshmark however um, there is a few also listed on Trade Z for um, good amount so I did list this on the higher end because it is in great condition and some of the comps were on the higher end this has also gotten quite a bit of interest so I'm hoping it does well because it is beautiful okay this is a fun vintage piece this is just kind of very characteristic of the 80s and 90s with these kind of big oversized um, shoulder, off the shoulder uh, sleeve, and then the rose detail. It's kind of got the sweetheart um, waist, and then it's midi length with a fuller skirt. Kind of the grandma floral design i guess you could say back zipper um the size has worn off of this label but it does fit more like a medium so and just based on i'm usually a small and this is a little big on me so not too not overly big on me so i think uh it would fit a medium best and i always provide measurements especially in cases like that so people can compare measurements um, so that can be really helpful as well, especially if you're looking to buy. Uh, this is a brand called Umji, and I see a lot of people talking about how they don't pick this up, but I loved the style of this, and it's new with tags. Um, it's this boho, kind of flowy, off-the-shoulder dress with these beautiful, kind of flouncy sleeves, um, and it also has, like, a little ruffled peplum hem very peasanty like boho style and it's super cute on great for festivals um, concerts casually just going out to get coffee whatever you want it to be type of dress um, I guess I have a lot of vintage in here more than I thought I brought up okay this is you probably if you've been watching me for a little while or my videos for a little while you know that I like selling vintage and I like denim shirt dresses so this is a denim shirt dress it buttons all the way down and <laughs> it's got a little bit fuller skirt it's got these great pockets this one does have a little bit of a stain near the hem which i had to photograph and list in the description um it's size 910 um it does definitely fit more like a medium large so again the tag size does kind of match how it actually fits um, a little bit of pleating there and it's just a really great classic style. I have sold several dresses very similar to this. You can layer them in the fall. You can just wear them so many different ways. Cute, belt them with a cute like Western belt. Ah, I just love them so much. Okay, I know I have a complete, these are dresses are so random. Um, I'm not going to apologize because I love it. So this is a Patagonia dress. This is the first Patagonia dress I think I've ever picked up. I definitely will pick up, um, like athletic dresses when I find them, but I rarely find Patagonia to begin with, let alone a dress. So this is called the, like the Banda, I think it's called the Banda dress. Anyways, it has this kind of twisted knot front, um, which just gives it a little bit of kind of a dressy flair. And it's more of a midi length and it's just a great like drawn after yoga dress. You know, you could throw it on to go buy groceries, but it also is a little bit dressier. So I feel like you could even wear this to an event um, if it's more of a casual event because it's just so cl classic and the colors, you know, black, which is always great. So that was a size medium, if you didn't see. This is a very beautiful free people dress. I really like it. Uh, it has this very characteristic of free people type embroidery at the top sheer sleeves, uh, very kind of flowy boho vibes going on. But what I really enjoy about this dress is the hem. So the hem is kind of um, higher at the sides, longer in the front and back, but it has this embellished mirror detail. And all of it's, or I shouldn't say mirror, it's sequined, 
but it kind of <laughs> looks like little mirrors. So very pretty. They all seem to be intact and the embroidery is good. It is lined um, and it has a little bit of a back keyhole so it just slips on over the head. Super cute. I do have another Free People dress that is in a way very similar as in the embellishments are kind of that mirror sequin. Um, this really reminds me of like Cleopatra. Um, that was random, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. Very Egyptian-esque, but maybe I guess it could be considered also kind of like tribal or, you know, boho, but it's more of a there's the rest of it just really pretty detail but it is a little bit more worn than the last piece so I did have to list that in the description that it was in good condition I wouldn't consider this great condition because some of the embroidery um, does show little signs of wear um, it's still very good condition and definitely can still be worn be a great event dress it's more of a bodycon mini so very stretchy more form-fitting but very cute and then the back has this hook and eye clasp closure, a little bit open keyhole there, and a side zipper, so very cute. Uh, this is just one of my favorite classic type style dresses to pick up. Uh, it is the Limited, which I don't sell a lot of this brand, but I just really like the style. This animal print just seems to be getting a lot of attention and be selling really well for me, so continuing to pick it up. This is like the sheath I think that's how you say it, like style fit where it's a little bit more fitted, but um, not bodycon. And it's also not the shift style where it's just straight down. So it has definitely a little bit of fit to it. it this one is also stretchy, so it will stretch a little bit, have a little bit of give, a uh, back zipper, and just such a classic piece that can be, again, be worn as career wear. It can be worn um, as special occasion wear, just depending on what type of event you're going to. Um, I would definitely wear this to an event if I was invited to one. Okay, this was kind of an odd find because I did not know that Dulce Vita DV made clothing. For some reason, I thought they were just a shoe line, but always learning something new. So this dress um, is pretty, I like it. I like the jewel print. Um, personally, I would rather wear animal print than jewel print, but I think someone would like this. And the fit, again, is a very classic. Um, I don't know what this is really called when the top is like a little bit oversized and flowy and then the bottom's more fitted. Please leave me a comment down below if you know what this is called. But um, the waist is elastic, so it has some give there. Um, there it is no zipper. There is It's more of just a slip over your head, pop over type dress with this um, back button neck detail so it doesn't button all the way down just at the neck so yeah super cute and it's a size medium I love this this is another piece by the limited so I did pick up a few of these um, I picked this up based on print and kind of the style of it so it is just kind of a basic like jersey shirt dress um, with pineapples and then it kind of flares out kind of like a skater dress I guess but yeah, super cute super it could be dressed up again worn professionally or it could just be more of a casual you know weekend dress you're going out maybe grabbing brunch this would be really cute uh, this is a BB Dakota new with tags or yeah Jack by BB Dakota do it tags it's the Paisley Tristan dress um, super cute again this is kind of a modern take on kind of a 70s uh, style with the print and kind of the fit more mini length I would say or above the knees but not super short if you're interested so cute and this express dress is definitely a mini dress size this one's a size zero um, I like the kind of neckline where deep V's in the front and the back has a little bit of ruffle detail uh, the sheer sleeves, the rest of it is lined, uh, kind of flowy at the, flows out from the waist, and it's just kind of classy. Oh, it does have this um, back clasp closure, which is cute. Helps it stay up in the back, so I like that. 
Anyway, that was Express. Uh, this one is also new tags, so I did find a good amount with new new tags items. Size 8, this is the BCBG Max Azria, or however you say that. Um, new tags, it is missing the bottom portion of the tag, but it's still new tags. Um, so this dress was called the Libby dress, and it kind of has this meshy, lacy um, neckline, and then it does just black and cream. Definitely a great career wear dress, um, but again, could be worn for special occasions as well. So this definitely is a brand that retails for a lot, but doesn't sell, resell for a lot on Poshmark. I've heard that it does better on Red Up, but I haven't tried that yet. It's definitely something I should look into. Uh, this last dress that I'm gonna, going to show you is a cabbie dress, and this is called the breaststroke dress. Um, it's kind of this red orange color, and to me, it's funny because I definitely understand why it's called the breaststroke dress. It definitely looks like breaststrokes. However, to me, because I'm just in the animal print mindset, it looks like like animal print, like tiger, zebra, animal print in my mind. But it is called the breaststroke dress, and it is kind of that shirt dress style where or pop over. It doesn't button all the way down, but it does button down to the waist, and then it pleats out here. It does have a matching tie um, belt, but I left that downstairs. Those things tend to um, run away, but I do have it. So, great condition. Uh, it is listed on Poshmark. Um, I enjoy selling cabbie. I enjoy selling clothes. I enjoy selling dresses. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And again, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future content that I put out here on YouTube. And as always, I will see you next time.